<laughs> gotcha! If that epic prank punch team explode didn't scare you away. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Suki, and in case it wasn't immediately obvious, I'm scared of everything. Legitimately, almost absolutely everything. But I put all of that fear aside last night so I could watch Queen Bella Thorne's new movie, I Still See You. Did you really think I wasn't gonna watch it, what, just because I'm scared of that? I'm scared of everything. And while it wasn't the spookiest movie I've ever seen, it still kept me up last night when I was trying to sleep. And one thing led to another, and while I would stop thinking about Queen Bella's scary movie, all of a sudden a new scary thought would crop up, and before I knew it, I wasn't going to sleep that night. In that madness, anxiety, paranoia spiral that I took, I made this cursed list of things that spook me in the night and stop me from sleeping. So, here we go. One thing we should probably remember with this video is, oh my god, my hair is falling out. I'm doing so good. I'm doing so good today. You know, really remember with a list like this, not to judge me because just don't. I texted a family group chat I'm in asking for shit that other people are scared of to see if I was insane. And a couple of those people had some very good points that were similar to mine. So you know what, maybe it's family trauma or maybe the whole world's crazy. An eye for an eye and the whole world goes blind. I would like you to remember that. Have a real think about that one. Another thing we shouldn't judge is the fact that I haven't brushed my hair today and it needs a good wash. I've been too preoccupied with my own spooky thoughts to brush my hair today. So let's not, let's not judge that and let's not judge the amount of cat hair on this jumper. I like this jumper an awful lot and I didn't want to change. So shut up and listen to my list of things that spook me. The first thing that spooks me comes with a free DIY. So let's jump into that. So what you're gonna want to do is grab your tin foil and a crown that I'm sure you have. Everyone has a crown laying around the house. You're gonna want to cover your crown in tin foil. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it's completely enclosed in tin foil. I will explain why in a minute. And then you're gonna to wanna to place that on your head. I think people can read my thoughts. I'm not sure if everyone can, and I don't have physical proof, but God damn, I think people can read my thoughts, uh, specifically my boyfriend. Sometimes I'll try to catch him out and be like, what am I thinking? And he'll be like, I don't know. But you know what? He always seems to know what I was thinking. <sighs> I sound insane. Now, I'm not crazy. I know realistically no one can actually read my thoughts. <laughs> I say that so people don't know I'm onto them. Random noises. Random noises spook me pretty good. My toaster really gets me good. It's always- ah! The kettle. Beeped and I got- <gasps> Why is this on? Oven. One time I was staying over at my cousin's house and she had daffodils that were blooming and like a little bit of it fell off in the middle of the night or something and I genuinely shit my pants. She had like hardwood floors and I just heard like, I heard like a, like a. It sounded like, like creepy spiders were crawling through the floorboards. I just, spooky noises, spooky noises spook me good. My cat, when she looks behind me and there's nothing behind me, but she's really staring at something behind me and I can't see what she's staring at. She seems, seems to track it with her eyes and I look behind me and there's nothing there. That spooks me pretty good. What's she looking at? What are you seeing? What do you know? Nunu new from the Teletubbies. Why the hell is that on a kid's show? That, first of all, the Teletubbies in themselves are goddamn terrifying. Like, as much as I stan Poe, the Teletubby, like, Poe for the win, they're fucking scary. And not just that, Nunu. Nunu from the Teletubbies. Terrifying. My parents used to be like, finish your food or Nunu's gonna come and hoover it up. So I would wolf that stuff into me straight away. Thanks mom and dad, look what you've done to me, I'm a mess. Sometimes my boyfriend will leave the room and he'll go very quiet and I will think he's about to scare me. He's done this before, but every time he leaves the room, I think he's gonna scare me. And I don't think that's warranted. He's almost never scaring me. So when he's doing that, I like get up and I'm like, don't scare me, don't scare me, where are you, don't scare me. And like, he'll just be brushing his teeth or going to the bathroom or something. And he's like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, I don't know. Stop reading my thoughts. Oh, I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna talk about this. Creepy pasta monsters. For some reason, I can't stop reading them, 
but they scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Slenderman in itself is a bit, it's a bit of a dead meme. Like he's not as scary as, but you know what? If I think about him too long, yeah, he's pretty scary. He gets me. <sighs> the rake. I don't even want to say it out loud. I always think if I like say the monster's name out loud, it'll come. Like a Bloody Mary type of, oh, I said her name too. The rake is like this monster in a story on Creepypasta who like, runs out of these parents' bedrooms and like eats their kid or something. Um, I'll link the story below. I don't want to read it right now. Like I said, it'll probably go fucking insane. Jeff the Killer, of course. Spooky, spooky boy. Big mouth, scary guy who like lures children into killing themselves. Very scary. Was very happy when I turned 18 and he hadn't come to get me. Oh my God, the Banshee. The Banshee scares me more than any type of Irish myth. When I was a kid, I read a story about a Banshee or something. And then all of my English stories in primary school after that were about banshees and about how they were gonna come and get me. Ooh, side note. See, I almost believe in the banshee because a friend of mine in secondary school, a family member of hers passed away. But the night he passed away, she heard a scream like no other, like she was shaking after it. And she was shaking, telling me. And the next day she found out that her family member had passed away. That's fucking scary. And she wasn't fucking with me. That's real. Like. I'm also quite paranoid I'm gonna die at all times, so I always pink my outfits out when I'm leaving the house really, really well because I think that's gonna be my ghost outfit. So I always try to wear something either pink or something Rainforest Cafe related. I try to have something Rainforest Cafe related on me at all times. Just, I mean, it's, it goes about the same. Oh, actually, if I properly die, opposed to not properly dying, uh, I would like to be cremated and have my ashes spread in a rainforest cafe. Uh, preferably the one in London because that's the best one. But uh, just just while you're ordering a nachos, do yourself a favor, get a nachos. Just quickly like yeet me into like the, the fake grass and the animatronic gorillas. That's where I'd be happiest. That's what I would have wanted. My boyfriend told me this story. He made up, he likes to make up scary stories at night time to just fucking so I never sleep. The way he told me this story was you hear someone running and there's this legend that if you hear this monster running, you have to stay awake or else the monster will get in. Oh my God, I'm scaring myself. <laughs> you hear the monster running on the street, but you fall asleep anyways, because you don't believe in legends. You're a big girl now. You wake up because you hear someone running on the gravel. So you're getting pretty scared now. But again, it could be the dog, so you go back to sleep again. But all of a sudden you hear someone running in their hallway. I just, I can't, it's so scary! And he tells me this shit when I'm trying to fucking fall asleep! And then he just, he's like, night, and just falls asleep straight away within seven minutes and I'm up all night, all night, making lists like this that can't... Uh, the fact I don't have a degree, Pretty spooky, is it not? Uh, I have a diploma. I have a foundation diploma in acting. So hire me. Momo. Momo's very scary. Mice. Fuck me. I'm constantly paranoid that I have mice. Like we had mice for so long. I'm aware my boyfriend in these stories sounds like a genuine psychopath, but he killed a mess with a shoe. <laughs> With a shoe, we killed a mouse with a shoe. Global warming. Guys, global warming. That's so scary. We have what, like 10 years to save the planet? No one's doing anything. Mascots at Disneyland. Mascots at Disneyland. Who thought that that was cute? They're so scary. I remember I went to Disneyland when I was a child and my parents were like, eat one more sausage and Goofy will go away because Goofy was coming over like, and Goofy didn't really get the message that I ate the sausage and needed to go away now because he came over and tried to like, you know, high five me or something and I just burst out crying. Uh, one time I had my birthday at like a, like a kid's place with like plastic ball pits and like slides and stuff. I had my birthday there. Our version of it was called Crazy Kids because we were crazy kids with a Z. And loads of mascots came out and I ran up the slide and refused to come out for the rest of my birthday. Uh, shout out to my cousin Liz who <laughs> kicked one of the mascots into a ball pit and their head came off which was even more horrifying than the actual mascot just being a mascot. Um, Planes taking off and planes landing because if there's something that's gonna go wrong in your flight, 
most likely it's going to happen when the plane's taking off and when the plane's landing. I used to think when I was a kid that I had to hum in the same frequency as the plane when it was taking off and landing or else the plane wouldn't land. What the fuck? Saying that out loud is really... That's really weird. When I was a child, I was in the playroom with my friend Nia and I remember seeing Nia walk through the playroom door but all of a sudden I was floating above her and I was being like picked up slowly. I always thought that maybe like a parent picked me up or something and I just remember it in that way. But me and my sister and my brother were all talking recently and I told him this and his whole face dropped. Like he went pale. And he said he always had a fear of floating out of our playroom windows. That spooked me good. I think about that sometimes at night and I'm like, oh my God, what if the ghosts followed me here? That everyone is in on a joke that I don't know about. I spent my whole childhood thinking that everyone was in on a joke that I don't know about. And to a certain extent, I still believe it. Speaking of which, I also grew up thinking that I had an illness no one was telling me about. Piggybacking on that thought, I also diagnose myself with a brain tumor every other week, so... Spooky! Haunted houses. I've actually never gone in one. I've been smart enough to know I wouldn't survive one, so... I'm that, like, boring vanilla friend that uh, will watch everyone else go on the haunted house and happily wait outside with your bags. I will be that friend for you, but I won't go into that haunted house and you can't make me. My uncle, when I was a kid, scared the crap out of me because he was so loud and he used to just show up to the house and be like, hello, and little me would just run away crying. I actually remember I called him the banana man. I don't know why. And I tried to sleep over with my cousins once when I was a kid and my parents just had to come and get me because he was too fucking scary. Like, chill out Uncle Al. I literally think I conjured up in my head that his head was a banana. He looks nothing like a banana. But when I didn't see him for a long period of time, I just decided he was a banana. My boyfriend thinks I was possessed by a demon as a kid. Like, cause every photo of me kinda looks sus. Like I could be possessed. Guys, that makes so much sense that I was possessed as a kid. Like. Smash like if you were possessed as a kid too. Sharks. Sharks are pretty spooky. I think that's a universal one. Sharks are the spookiest of the spook under the sea. At the same time, I'm obsessed with sharks. I love them very much. I think they're like water kittens. That being said, great white sharks are probably the thing that keep me up at night the most. Belly buttons. Fuck belly buttons. They're the devil. Oh my God. And also other people's belly buttons make me feel ill. You know what? Send belly buttons to the moon and don't come back. This one is so insane, but such a problem. I have reoccurring dreams about this that I'll accidentally take drugs and not realize it and then start hallucinating. I've never seen the Truman Show in my entire life, but when I was a kid, I thought my life was a TV show called The Suki Steel Adventures. And when I fell asleep at night, I thought the credits would roll. That's pure narcissism. Do you know why I was such a narcissistic fucked up child? Because I asked my mom once when I was a child, mom, is it really just all about me? Like, does the world really just revolve around me? She said, yes. Root of all my problems. I thought I was the most special blessed child in the whole world. So there's a little list of things that keep me up at night. Usually I'd say, leave a comment of things that keep you up at night, but I don't wanna know. I have a long list already. I'd rather you didn't. If you made it to this point in the video, that means we're best friends. Well, no, if you made it to this point in the video, it means we're friends, like. Oh my god! If you made it to this point in the video, that means we're acquaintances. So you may as well like the video to become friends, and you may as well subscribe to become best friends. I, Cause I have no friends, so do you wanna maybe be my friend already? All right, well thanks guys for watching the video. If you did, well done. That's an achievement in itself. You can watch this video for extra credit in school. Did you know that? Results may vary, please do not hold me to that. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go take a fat ass nap. Oh my God, my neighbor just sneezed and it sounded like he fucking died. Are you okay, Diego? Okay, I have nothing else to say, bye.